what's up guys and welcome to the new YouTube video today we are building a house um, I did a little bit of a reference video or a reference house from Google um, I don't think I still have the picture for it unfortunately this is an old video I did a couple weeks ago um, and I'm just not getting around to actually filming or doing a voiceover for it so I can upload it for you guys um, Really, we started out like it was it was actually kind of a trial in um, error trying to figure out what I wanted to do for this. Uh, honestly, I didn't really know <laughs> where to put the windows. Um, I did really like the way that it turned out. It actually turned out pretty nicely. Um, there was a lot of figuring out how I want to put the roof because we did have a couple glitches um, during this process. A lot of... Uh, again trial and error um, we were trying to I was trying to make it so like the in the picture it had two different types of roofs and you see where it shows you right here it has two different types of like roofs hangings right on the top of that window area and I'm assuming it's because around the back which it didn't show but around the back there is a I put a porch um, and I think in in the actual picture they put a porch too I did end up getting it to work it took a lot of figuring out and a couple pauses to try to figure out how to fix that too um but all right here it shows you how i pulled that roof through the back um which now thinking about it since it's been a couple weeks i probably should have not pulled that first one through and just pulled the back one but it's all good it works out um and yes i did go back several times and fix it um i did go back several times to fix that roof because it just kept bugging me the way it looked but we got it all put together and we made it look good and it looked just like the house and that's what I loved about it. Um, I loved the exterior color, that red. Oh my gosh, that was the best thing ever. Trying to find the stone um, for those two areas, that was fun. And then I don't think it I realized it until like the middle of this video that the, oh no, I did fix it. The house or the windows were uneven on that stone area, but we figured it out. We got it. Yep, there we go. That's me trying to fix the roof, which I finally got it to work. So, you know, whippy. Um, now I'm doing the landscaping. I suck at landscaping, y'all. Like, you don't even know. And so putting that together, it took a long, long time. Granted, I'm pretty positive when I did this, it was like, I think it was 11 o'clock at night. By the time I finished it, it was 1. It was 1 o'clock by the time I finished it. I'm pretty positive. Um, but, you know, we got it done. That's all that matters. If you hear breathing, it's because Chief is behind me and he's currently sniffing me and it's really annoying, but, um, yeah, I like, it took forever for me to figure out what I wanted to do for that, those flowers, like. I could not for the life of me figure out what I wanted to do with these flowers because like at the same time like I wanted to all be bunched up and I want it to be like a bunch of different colors but at the same time it kind of looked weird. I think it ended up looking good in the end and I will post this on the gallery um, as soon as I get done with this I will and I post it onto YouTube I will post it onto the gallery for you guys. Yeah, the, I suck at landscaping y'all I really do. But you know what? We got through it. We did it. It looks great. I love the way this house turned out. Especially when I did the backyard. Oh my gosh. And you guys will see here soon. Doing the inside of this house was literally the death of me. I don't even know how I managed to do it. But I did. And it was very hard. Okay, here we go with the backyard. I added in, you know, always got a screen door window. because Or screen door. Because I love those screen doors on my Sims. In real life, they're not the best. But in the Sims... It's worth it. <laughs> My favorite part was actually putting together this whole entire thing. Um, the whole entire... Actually... The whole entire house really was my favorite thing to do. Um, it did take a little bit longer than I thought it would take, but I think it turned out so well that I don't really even care that it took that long. Um, just getting it to be exactly what I wanted it to be, I think, was the best part. And actually getting to add in a laundry room. Like, most of the time I don't even, like, make it 
a point to have a laundry room. <laughs> Most of the time I just really, I just let it be. But um, I actually made it a point to do the laundry room this time. And I think it turned out swimmingly. I love the way it looks. Um, which we're not even there yet. We're still doing the backyard and the little finishing touches on the outside of the house. Adding those, um, what do they call those, wood planks or posts? I think adding those posts, I think, really made the whole thing just look um, more of like a cottagey feel. But still like a regular neighborhood home is what I think. Um, and I always struggle with putting the fence post up against the house when you have a platform because, oh my gosh, it always makes the fence look like it's on a platform. Like, who wants that? Why is that a thing? But it's all good. And then I tried to add like little cute things into the into the pool because I was like, oh, it looks so bland. But then it's like, oh, it doesn't fit. Never mind. So we ended up just going with some plain stuff, I think is what it ended up being. Um, but I did end up making the backyard really cute. And I love the way it turned out. Honestly, if it was my backyard, I would not be disappointed. Um, the person that I did put into this family, I made it out as if she was a single mom because her, her husband died. Um, in the military and so she has two boys she has a teenage boy and she has a toddler son um, which honestly if you guys really want to we can make them into gameplay if you really want to I do have them um, made and I can definitely do that if you guys want to I really love the way this house turned out I, I can't stop saying it I just love this house this is honestly probably the greatest uh, house I've ever built really um, I really wanted to make it look realistic because like in a real house you're gonna have a little hallway that leads to the bedroom doors that leads to the bathroom and so I wanted to have that in here and oh my gosh building this house was no joke so hard so hard um, I tried to make it to where in her room that she had the closet doors like you would um, in a normal house because but those closets are just so freaking huge that it just it didn't work it didn't work for at least the boys' rooms, but after a while, I did finally figure it out. I think I took a long pause at one point trying to figure it out. I edited it out, but it it was hard. It was really hard to try to figure out, like, where am I going to put the bathroom? Where am I going to put the bedroom? How am I going to do this? Like, it's a lot of deleting and restarting over, and where am I going to put the laundry room? How is this living room going to work? Where's the dining room going to be? Where's the kitchen going to be? Um, I think I ended up putting the living room... It was right by the front door and then the kitchen was in the back area and the laundry room and dining room were all were all over to the I cannot talk. I'm out of breath. All over to the south, I think, is where it was. But uh oh, and if you guys don't know, if you guys have not seen any of my other videos, I always put carpet in my rooms. I've just always thought of it as a thing, because like I don't know. It's, I feel like carpet should go in bedrooms and on the stairs sometimes. I really do like, though, I really do like um, carpets on bedrooms. Because, like, when I go to bed, when I climb into my bed, I want to have clean feet. Like, I don't want to be stepping onto a wood floor that could be potentially covered in dog hair or dirt or whatever. Because, like, my dog, he likes to tear up crap and he likes to create messes. And so, whenever I get into bed, my feet are completely dirty because they're covered in dog hair and dirt. Um, and so, I like to put carpet. When I get a house that I'm not renting, I will put carpet in my house. In my bedrooms, at least. Um, living rooms, kitchens, bathrooms, I don't think they need carpet. I think it was a little weird to put carpet in your bathroom. But, you know, to each his own, right? Whatever you want to do to your house. Um, the bathroom was a little bit of a struggle for me. Now realizing it, which I think I realized it while building. There's two, three giant windows in your bathroom. I don't know that you really want that. Um, if you don't like that, if you do decide to download this house, you can always put curtains in front of it or take the window out completely. Um, or you could change it to a small one. But really, I just think that it made the outside of the house look good and you needed a bathroom and a second bathroom for the parents room so I thought you know yeah it's a little weird but at the same time if you really don't like it put some curtains in front of it or shades don't they have shades I don't know if they have shades in this floor I don't feel like they do I think they only have curtains but sorry I got distracted <laughs> um 
I tried to put that picture in there, but it didn't look very good. So then I went to look at these, and I really love these. Yes, I'm pretty positive those were custom content. But I tried to do as much as I could without custom content. I think the only thing now that... Oh, wait, that's not true. Well, most of it is not custom content. Oh, yeah, I had to go back and change that window, too, because it was peeking into the kid's window. But the only thing that I think was not... That was custom content, it was this kid bed... The kid room, potentially, and then all of the pictures on uh, the walls. I think some of them are custom content, but everything else is either base game or a pack. And my only problem I've noticed is that I use a lot of packs, and that's because I have pretty much every pack, which, by the way, just got the new uh, winter. Is it winter escape? Oh, crud. What's it called? Snowy escape, I think is what it's called. Hold on, I'm going to look it up because now I can't remember. I'm over here brain farting. Um, but yes, right here I'm designing the room and getting that all fixed up because I, Snowy Escape is what it's called. Normally I don't um, do much when it comes to rooms. Like if you saw the parents' room, I didn't really do much to it. I kind of just made it look doable. Um, but when it comes to kids' rooms and teenage rooms, I don't know what it is, but I just go like full on in decorations everywhere, little things, big things, everything. Um, rugs, I do lots of paintings, everything like that, especially toddler rooms. I love decorating toddler rooms. I don't know what that's about. Um, and in real life, I love decorating my room, so I don't really know why I don't like doing it in the, um, in the game, but I just don't enjoy decorating the adult room. Sorry, I'm so yawny today, guys. I don't know what my deal is. But, um, yeah, you would not believe how many times I changed around this room. Like, I think I did it easily three or four times. Um, because I didn't like the way it looked and I couldn't fit in the toy box and I really wanted the toy box in there. So I think this is the last time I switch it around. Yeah, this is the last time I switch it around. But it just turned out, everything turned out very good. I really do like the way that it looked. Editing this was no fun, though, I will tell you guys that. Because whenever I get into, like, singing, um, not singing, whenever I get into, uh, building, I do a lot of singing because I listen to music because it keeps me focused. And, oh my good god, there is some horrible singing in this, <laughs> not gonna lie. I went ahead and spared you guys with that horribleness, um, and deleted all that audio so you guys didn't have to hear that, that god-awful sound. But... You know, I, I think it turned out really well. I love this boys' room right here. Um, granted, if you can't tell, I do love the color red. <laughs> the color red is my ish. Um, oh my gosh, the amount of times that I rearranged this dresser is not even funny. Chief, go. Everybody can hear you breathing. I thought the, the kid, the toddler, was more of like an architect kind of like... Um, airplane type person and so that's why I gave him all those cool like architect posters and stuff like that because I just feel like he's going to be like that when he grows up the brother on the other hand the oldest brother he's a whole nother thing with that <clears throat> you guys will see here in a second I also love the way that this bathroom turned out the baby blue is just the cutest thing ever and it was all drawn from the shower because I figured I mean they're two boys One's a toddler. The other one probably grew up in this house, too, when he was a kid. So the bathroom's just fitting. And by the way, I mean, he's about to leave the house anyway, so he doesn't really care what it looks like. But it just came out so cute. So cute. <clears throat> no, I'm not sick. I do not have the Rona. I just have really bad allergies and congestion. And I've always had bad congestion. And now we're on to this teenage room. This teenage room was it was hard because after I got done doing the bathroom I was like oh my gosh I did another blue room and then I was like well, I don't really know if I want to do the blue room and then I was like well I like the way that the tiny living stuff looked in here so it was like a whole big thing I just like switched it so many times because I was like I don't really know and then I was like well I don't really like the way this looks and then I was like wait I, I like the way it looks because I think at one point I changed it all from blue to green but then the tiny living stuff didn't have any green stuff that matched the green that I was going for Oh, this kid's a musician. He's very into his thoughts and his creativity and his mu music. And so this kid is, he's got, oh, and he loves sports too. He likes soccer.
yeah, the um, building, or, er, sorry, I keep, like, spacing because I'm, we just went and looked at a house this morning, and I really liked the way that it looked, but it, it was too expensive for our, because somebody else had, somebody else had put in an offer, and so it didn't really work out. But, um, yes, I put many, many, many posters in this house. I love the way the teenage posters look. Um, it's perfect for teenage boys, even teenage girls, really. Um, and so, you know, I just wanted to cake the room. Because, I mean, I feel like that's what teenage boys' houses look like. Houses. Their bedrooms look like. It's just covered in posters. So, we finished with that. Now we're on to this awesome uh, laundry room. <clears throat> I love laundry rooms. I don't know why. When I get my own house, I can't wait to decorate my laundry room. Not going to lie, guys. Like, it's going to be awesome. Um, there isn't much <clears throat> stuff for laundry rooms, unfortunately. Uh, I wish there was more. Which, I wish there was more of everything, really, <laughs> in the sense for. But we made it work with what we had. Um, and I think we ended up carrying the wood from the living room out into that or maybe not maybe we didn't i don't remember i honestly don't remember it was like a week ago <laughs> maybe two actually but um i wanted to put more on that countertop but i could not find anything from laundry day stuff back for some reason um and so i had to use i did like i think i did like a vase and i think i called it good there Oh, no, I did the coffee mugs in a vase. Or no. Oh, I guess I did wine. I don't know, guys. You can think of it as like a mudroom slash pantry, I guess. Is what I... Or laundry room slash pantry is what I meant to say. Um, this kitchen, though, was fun to decorate. Um, I really do like decorating kitchens, too. I have an obsession with, like, pretty much decorating houses in general. Um, <laughs> being able to do it, especially in, like, The Sims 4, is a lot of fun. So, like, whenever I do end up getting, like, a house that we end up potentially buying, I will for sure build it. Um, if you guys would like to see it in The Sims 4 and how I would like to decorate it and everything, I can for sure do that. Um, but, yes, I fell in love with the way that it looked this house looked and honestly if I could build this house for my family I would definitely would I feel like it would be a bajillion dollars more than what it's worth in the sims but because houses nowadays are expensive um I probably wouldn't do like that grayish blue for my countertop or my cabinets but I definitely would do the white for the countertops Seeing how I couldn't use any CC, it was really hard to kind of figure out which cabinets I wanted to use. Because I didn't want to use like a wooden one. Because I wanted it to be like a little bit of a modern kitchen and not so much of a country kitchen. But the rest of the house, because like the rest of the house kind of looks modern too. More of like a uh, cottage type home. No, a modern cottage, not a, not a cottage. Because a cottage would be like wooden themed, but you know what I mean. Um... And then I think I ended up changing the color of the island because I like that contrast look that you can get um, whenever you do, like, say, like, you do white cabinets and then you do the island, like, a black color. I love that look. Um, and so I ended up changing the island. I think it was, like, a dark gray is what I did. Um, because I ended up changing, because the wall color that I choose chose for this house is, like, a purpley color, like a dark mauve purple, kind of. Um, I don't know. You'll see it here in a second. Um, and so I really wanted it to. Oh, that's not even right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like getting uh, stuck on the how she's how I'm sitting in the wine. Um, I think I did the living room next. And again, tried not to use custom content. I tried to use only uh, content from the game, except for that rug. That rug was custom content. I'm pretty positive. Jeez, I can't remember. Sometimes you get, you get like, drug it, or, like, you get stuck in it, and you're like, I'm not supposed to use custom content, and then I go and use custom content, and I was like, crap, I used custom content. So if you guys do end up downloading this house and some things are deleted, it's probably because it was custom content, um, and it's really hard to find that certain custom content, unfortunately. But there are millions of rugs, custom content, that you can use, and how many more times can I say custom content, guys? Um, there's a bunch of rugs that you can use uh, that are downloadable 
and I would recommend using them if you can, if you have the space in your computer to do that. Oh, my favorite part was picking the wood. I think I ended up going, yes, I ended up going with that wood. And I really hope I remember to put that in the hall. I don't remember if I did. I think I did. I really hope I did. Um, right here is where I'm changing the color of the cabinets. Um, wait, what did I do? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did black cabinets and then I did a gray island. Yes, for contrast. And oh my gosh, did it turn out beautifully. Because it matched the appliances and I love that about it. I ended up changing the room of the color of the parents' room to brown, I think is what I did. Um, I don't remember why, but I did do that. Um, and that is that purple color. It's not mauve. It's just purple. Like a, I don't really know how to describe that purple, but that is my absolute favorite color in the game. I use it a lot. I don't know why. It's, I'm just obsessed with that color. Um, and then I ended up putting up some pictures. These are not custom content. They're just the different kinds of custom, uh, of not, they're just the different kinds of pictures that come with the game. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you would like to see more, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye.